Hey everybody, this is the Sniper the Ladies Man, and welcome back to Let's Play Slide 2 Band of Thieves. On the last episode, I uh, took down Dimitri and got the Clockwork Tail Feathers. So, in this episode, uh, let's go ahead and start episode 2. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target. A mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation, and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. Sly Cooper and the Jane in a starry-eyed encounter. All right, so okay, so I can buy I can buy a couple things. Um, hmm. Okay, so one will uh, make guards uh, shrink when uh, with Bentley when I when I hit him with a crossbow. Uh, can jump with, jump uh, greater distances or greater heights with Murray, or sidestep enemies in combat. See, personally, all three of those, I personally don't use them. Um, so you know what, I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably save up. But as, uh, as usually any time when you start a new episode, you gotta do a little bit of reconnaissance. I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. Jump and hit the circle button. Jump and hit the circle button. Yeah. Alright, so, um, I'm not sure when, but probably just like in uh, the first, uh, uh, episode I did where I, I just did all, going after all the bottles. This is one level that I I did I did mixed up with, so I'm gonna leave those till uh till a later time. But man, those balls are calling my name. They really are. No shiny. But anyway, so let's get over and do uh do a little bit of reconnaissance work. I figured out how to sneak in above the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. All right, making our way. There we go. Easy 
Yep. So, need a picture of the clockwork wings. Looks like the wings have been welded onto that statue. They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. And this one? An electronic witch. That could be useful. And the man himself, or Tiger. Oh. Where is he? Oh. Got a picture of the Tiger, of the man, Tiger thing himself. Oh, you close your eyes. Really pulled out all the stops to impress people with this party. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. Hmm. Another claw gang member. Arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. Yep. Oh, 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 no. A member of the Claw Gang and Canadian Shipping Baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. Hmm. I don't see anybody else. Oh. That's the Contessa, a high ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. Interesting. So, Neil and Carmelita. Oh, oh. Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. Damn, she looks fine. Oh, and. Mila. Yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. That's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house, and we'll start building a game plan. Yep, job completed. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments. But he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. Alright, so... Obviously we got a few new missions. Um... Actually, let's see who, uh... See what missions we got. Can't see them. Can't see them. Looks like they're both. Looks like yeah. Oh, okay. So it's just, just fly for this. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, lower the drawbridge. Yeah. Nope. I was doing the ballroom, uh, dancing one, a special mission like that, a special job. God, why do I keep saying that? A special job like the, uh, ballroom dance party, or the ballroom party thing, a special mission like that, it deserves its own episode. Yes, it's that special. And also, besides, it, it's 
my my favorite mission. Fly, Furry and I can't get inside the palace unless you lower the drawbridge. I'd love to, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so the, the ballroom dance uh, thing is uh, is probably my favorite level, not only of this episode, but uh, possibly my favorite level of the entire game. And for anyone who doesn't know, you will see why soon enough. Yep. Go back. Don't see me. And guys. Go, go, go. Yeah, I'll grab that. I'll get that there last. Come on, man. Turn around. There we go. Um, there's him, and there's another guy somewhere. Don't get it. No, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk it. I want to get them all in one. I want to try and get them all in one go. All right, where? Oh, he's over there too. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's go get this guy first. Oh, come on. How many coins can you have in your damn pocket? Alright. Run. Ninja Spire. Go. Alright. So now I head, head back over into the, uh, next section. Oh, man, I wanted, I wanted to bottle so, so badly. But, this is probably, this is like only one of the other, uh, this is, okay, this episode is probably one of the only other areas that I, that I can get majority, without, without looking up, looking out for, looking for a guide, this is one of the only other episodes that I can get majority of them, uh, fairly easily, you know, so, I mean, we'll, uh, have to see. Uh, what happened, but... Yep. Stop. No! Got it! Yeah! No. Alright. Run the way back. Avoid any, avoid any of those uh, bottles. Uh, I actually don't know uh, when I'm going to do that episode where I go after all the bottles. Um, this way. This way. Yep. Oh, back up. 
Over here. Uh, wait for him. Yo. Go, 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 go. Yep, job completed. Alright, so I'm gonna head off back over into... Aww. That was stupid of me. I'm gonna head back over, um... Into the safe house. And that's gonna be it for me. So, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, I'm Sniper Lazeman, and they are Sly, Bentley, and Murray... And we're all signing off.